Welcome everyone. Please join us tonight as we go to one of our favorite places, Disco Witch Brewery in Yuli. did you get me? <laughs> it's a surprise. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Here we are in the broom closet. This is the other room in Disco Witch. We have a lot of events in here. And they hosted the barter market in here a few weeks ago. My favorite part is the bar. Cool items in here. Introducing Tradicional Cristalino Old Trapper Beefs Last Bag. So we got the spinach and artichoke dip. We got the ham with the apple cheese, cheddar cheese. And I got the turkey one, which is the diva, disco diva. And that has strawberries on and cheese. We had a great time last night at Disco Witch in Yuli. Uh, food was excellent, drinks were excellent, and Shelly was so kind to send me home with um, one of her famous beers. I believe this is her most popular one, Earth, Wind, and Pretzel. So um, she gifted this to me. Um, I'm gonna be making some beer bread with it. And then with what is left, I will be making a beer cheese sauce as well. So, um, first of all, let's get started on the beer bread. We're going to need three cups of biscuit. And I'm also working on preheating my oven at 350 degrees. Next, we'll take one tablespoon of sugar. Then we're gonna use 12 ounces of beer. Your favorite beer, whichever one you like to use. So this one will be a good one for it. Let's see, 12 ounces, so a cup and a half. Oh, me so sweet till it settles down. Hi, Truffles. Truffles wants to give his input on it. Truffles, I don't think you eat beer bread. All right, there we go. There's 12 ounces. Okay, pour that in. Stir that up good with a wooden spoon. And then I have a greased loaf pan ready to go. I just use cooking spray to put in it, but you can grease it up with shortening if you'd like. have a few lumps in which will happen because of the biscuit and the beer together but it's fine so pour this into our loaf pan 
And then as soon as the oven is ready, we'll put it in at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes, just depending on your oven. And it should be ready. Okay, we're back and the oven is ready. So we'll be putting this in for 20, 25 minutes. Okay, everyone, so the beer bread is still in the oven, baking up, it should be done in about three minutes or so, we'll check it. So I'm gonna get started on the beer cheese dip. I have a quarter of a cup of butter in the pan right now, slowly melting quarter of a cup of flour, but I'm going to do a gluten-free version. So instead of flour, I'll just be using a quarter of a cup of cornstarch. You're also gonna need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. I don't really like onions or onion powder, so I'm gonna leave that out. Um, an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I realized I didn't have any cayenne pepper, but I do have some of this Nashville hot seasoning from Spice and Tea Exchange. So I'll put that in in place of the cayenne pepper. But again, you can omit the cayenne pepper if you don't want it in. One cup of milk, two thirds cup of beer, one cup of shredded uh, sharp cheese, a half a cup of mozzarella, which I also have in here, and a half a cup of like a Swiss cheese or something like that. So I do have Swiss in there. So this is two cups of cheese all together. And then um, two teaspoons of spicy brown mustard, and that is also optional. I don't really like the mustard in the cheese sauce, so I'm gonna skip that. So my butter is almost all melted up. So I will get the cornstarch ready. Again, that's a quarter of a cup in with a quarter of a cup of butter. And I just have the heat on medium on the stove right now. Just kind of slowly letting it melt gently. It's taken me a little bit of getting used to with uh, an electric stove. When we lived in New York, we had a gas range for the last probably 20 years or so. I think even more than that. And so when I moved down here to Florida, the apartment as well as the house now has an electric stove. So yeah, it's, it's a little different, but um, I've gotten used to it. I just when you learn one thing, it's time for something else. Okay, so next it says to put the onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and like that said, in with the butter mixture. I'm just gonna remove this off of here because I don't want it to start to stick. So I'm just gonna do an eighth of a teaspoon of this Nashville hot seasoning. No, that's a quarter. Well, I'll have to just do a half of this. There we go. And garlic powder. I'll put a little sprinkle in there. It's supposed to be half of a teaspoon, I think it said. Yeah, half of a teaspoon. I like some garlic, but I don't like it to be overwhelming. Oh, that's my oven for the beer bread. How it looks. Uh, no, definitely not good. Okay, so put it in for about another five minutes. put it between um, low and medium right now. Now, these directions uh, are a little strange because in these directions, they never say in the recipe when to put the cheese in. <laughs> so I just put it in after I make the roux with the butter and cornstarch. Put the cheese in there. On. And then you need two thirds of a cup of beer, which I'm using the beer from Disco Witch, Earth, Wind, and Pretzels. And then I need one cup of milk. So I will use almond milk. Just plain 
unsweetened almond milk. But of course you can use regular milk too if you like. Okay. Put that in there. I'm gonna turn it back up to medium heat and get that melted. Okay, so the beer bread is ready too. Just checked it, it's all good. Let's put that up there. Give that a few minutes to cool. And then I usually leave it in the loaf pan actually uh, to cut it, I just think it stays together nicer. And I like to serve it warm. You can put a little bit of butter on if you'd like as well. And I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe dipping some of this beer bread into the beer cheese. I think that would be a good combination. What's that noise? Yes. And there's Skeeter trying to get into some freezer bags. Skeeter. Skeeter. Hello. Hi, Skeeter. Hi. Okay, here's the finished product of the beer cheese sauce. I put some colorful chips on there from Trader Joe's. Okay, so we'll do a taste test. Mm. Mm hmm that's really good. A really good flavor. I've just always used um, regular canned or bottled beer, but no, that's good. Thumbs up. Okay. I don't know. It might fall apart in the cheese sauce. Okay. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's really good. Mm hmm. Yeah, I dip the bread in the cheese sauce. Cool. Thanks everybody for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you again to Disco Witch for giving me the beer. Why are you hanging right there? <laughs> I don't know. I was going to see what you said. <laughs>